I heard from four or five different people that Jimmy Nardello was a pretty good pepper, but you never know what to expect for sure until you try it yourself. But the first thing I discovered was it's a very productive pepper. As you can see on this plant, it's just loaded with peppers. I provided a little support, but it could have probably used more. Most of our peppers started off a little bit slow this year, so we didn't get any ripe ones to try until about August. But once they started getting ripe, they supplied us with a steady supply of great tasting peppers. They start out by getting streaks of red and then eventually the entire pepper turns red and that's when they're at their sweetest. And to all of you folks who recommended Jimmy Nardello peppers to me, thanks a bunch. I think it'll be a regular in our garden. If you have any more tips, feel free to share. Now it's time to taste one of these. I've heard really good things about how these taste, so I'm kind of anxious to see what it tastes like. This one was, uh, the end of it was resting on the ground since this is the very first one we've had that that's ripened. I'm going to go ahead and cut that shriveled end off. And I'm going to cut this open down the middle. And we'll take a look inside. Seeds start way up here, that's good. I'm just going to cut some of that off and taste it. Got very good flavor. Got some sweetness. Just almost a little bit, a little bit of juiciness. Yeah, I could just eat these as a snack, I think. Go really good in a stir fry, I think. Or in a salad. Probably be really good to cook with. Yeah, I like it a lot. That might be a regular in our garden, I think. It's really good. I'm looking forward to trying this um, a few different ways. While we're on the subject of sweet peppers, let us know what your favorite sweet pepper is. And if you've ever tried Jimmy Nardello, let us know what you think. If you're just now finding this channel, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.